morning. Uh, we're back in the Gambit 135 uh, BMW. So today I'm changing the tyres over from my daily Chinese hard rubber compound uh, transiting tyres to my R spec race tyres for an event that we've got on tomorrow, uh, a little motor car event. So uh, I thought I'd make it interesting and just do a zero to 100 km an hour time on my app here and um, see what sort of time I can do with these 235, 35, uh, 19 inch rubber. Just I haven't even done the pressures to be honest, it's just in daily mode. So just got in the car, gave a little wash and um, I'll go and do a zero to 100 time and then I'll go back and put the Aspect tyres on. Uh, and then we'll do another time zero to 100 and see if they hook up any better if the time if we can do a better time all right so short shifted out of first but this thing's got so much torque it's not the greatest um, traction area but we've got 4.95 seconds which seems to be a consistent number that comes up on this app at least um, so 4.95 with a short shift in the second year which is a, probably two or three tenths quicker than the advertised time of the standard car um, given that this has got MHD stage 2 app, uh, tune uh, and a few other bits and pieces in a cooler and what have you it's, um, not unusual it's quicker probably for the um, amount of effort gone in it would be good if it was quicker than that but uh, I guess that's that's still pretty slick all right I'm gonna go home and uh, put the aspect rubber on and see if that makes any difference with the times I don't know how um, sensitive this app is though so this, this might be um, you know might not pick up those fractions so we'll see. Anyway, we'll get back to you. Alright, just pull up in the driveway here and uh, have a look at the previous times that we've done. Yep. Alright, look, glasses on. Still got good long vision though, I'd rather have long vision than, than short vision. So. On the app here, I've got the first one I did was a test run that was seven seconds, and then then a 4.95, a 3.95. There's two 3.95s there, and I'm I'm figuring they're just an outlier glitch with the GPS signal. So you'll see there's 4.95, a 4.96. So it does go down to some some fractions, uh, and then a 4.95. So I think just taking the, the logical average there, then around 4.95 is is what it's doing on on these tyres at least. I can't remember what tyres. I had on on the other runs so let's put these um, aspect tires on and um, go and give them a run I'm not going to change the pressures in those um, initially uh, obviously check the pressures and race day but um, um, if I was going to do a full drag on those I'd lower them right down and get some good traction but I'll just take it out and give it a quick run how they are now and um, compare So we've got the, uh, the I think these are just like fake 19 inch BBS wheels with some China tyres on. But uh, I wanted to show you the other tyres and wheels. So that's, these are forged Ray's engineering forged um, forged wheels and they're heaps lighter and just they're sexy look at them. With some R-spec necks and and Ferro Surf 4 uh, G, so I've, you know, they're still actually, I've run these a couple of times now and with this much tread, they're still fine. Still quite grippy. Unless it pours down rain all the way to the track. That's a whole other story, but what I wanted to do was weigh them. I'm just, just mounting them up, they're so much lighter 
than the, um, the one that was running around as a daily. So that wheel tyre combo 23.3 is weighing a little heavy, this, um, these scales. So uh, we'll call it 23.3. 20, yeah, it's just a Comparo. Versus 19 kilos. <laughs> so 4.3 kilos lighter. No wonder they're easier to put on. It's an easier, not easy. So four kilos a corner, that's 16 kilos of reciprocating mass out of the car, so that's uh, it's quite significant, isn't it? Camera's following me. You feel like you're being watched. Oh, well finished. today is acceleration so let's see if we can get it from a dig uh, I've got a full tank of gas that's my tripod uh, across the floor there I've got a full tank of gas on board so it's a little bit heavier than it was but it shouldn't make too much difference it's a bit cooler get later in the day um, hey guys can you please subscribe and give me a thumbs up it's going to help out a lot with uh, my views and uh, hopefully I can do more of this stuff uh, I've got some more cars that I'm going to review as well so you know the more success the better thank you Jump on there and do that for me and uh, I'll get more of these videos out. So, uh, alright, we're nearly at our favourite spot. Pull in here and um, get the app ready and see what we can do. We'll be back. This could possibly be the dumbest idea I've had this week. But anyway, we'll persevere. See if we can get this. I've done about three runs here. I've got a lot of wheel spin. Uh, it's cold and not ideal, let's put it that way. All right, reset, start. Here we go, last chance. Yo! Heaps of wheel spin. There's the time. Got a lot of wheel spin again. Yeah, that was five seconds. The last one was 4.95. It's just too much wheel spin. I don't know why, what's going on with these tyres, but they actually feel um, worse <laughs> than the other ones. Although I am trying harder. So I figured if I don't try harder to put more power down with grippier tyres, uh, that's the only way I'm going to get a better time. So if I back off and do the same as I did in the, um, with the other ones, you're not really going to get a faster time. Anyway, well that experiment's... Uh, an interesting one it might need to be revisited at a later date I think uh, with a bit more controlled environment um, a little bit more scientific testing maybe some tire pressures as well so I still like to get the best possible start time out of this uh, out of this car but anyway there you have it no real significant difference we did have a uh, we did have a full tank of gas and cooler air temperatures. 